Hello, everybody. I can't believe it. It's already Pick a Stack Wednesday day. We're going to start off with a little golden singing bell. Charging up the crystals, the cards, me, you, the whole world. Yes, doesn't that feel wonderful? If you are new to Pick a Stack Wednesday, what we do here is you think of an idea, issue, or question. It can pertain to you, a loved one, your family, your community, or the whole world. And then you pick a stack, but you can't see the stacks. They are in these boxes. So stack number one is in this box. Stack number two is in this box. And stack number three is in this box. Each stack includes two tarot cards from two different decks, one oracle card, and a crystal. And each stack tells a story. Today, in our background, we had this fabulous crystal wood knot. There's a very large clear quartz point in there, and then there's a whole bunch of, of bornite or peacock ore inside there. That was not original, but when I meditated with that crystal wood knot, I said, I want some bornite in here. So um, I got a whole bunch of bornite and put it in there for him. All right, let's get started. So if you chose stack number one, I'm just gonna move this aside here inside this box these are your crystals i do not have them in a big form i have the small crystals these are a fabulous pale pink and this is called morganite now morganite is a crystal of divine love it is high vibrational, high frequency, universal stone of unconditional love, activating the heart chakra, cleansing the heart chakra, helps to attract and maintain love. Now, having said that, we don't push our will onto somebody else. This is to attract the love that is meant for you. Um, this, it, 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 Morganite is like the first pale rays of sunrise. You know, when the sun just first comes up over the horizon and it makes you go, oh, that's how, that's the emotion that this crystal releases. Um, it helps us to connect to our higher power. So, Really good crystals to work with um, when you're dealing with emotional issues because they're good for the heart. And let's see if we can get our cards out. All right. Our first card is from the Tarot of Dreams, and it is the Eight of Coins. This is also known as the Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Earth. Eight is the number of abundance and prosperity, and we so we've got... Abundance and prosperity of coins. Um, yay. Who doesn't want that? We're going to, oh, we're going to add that to um, the star. And this is from the Spirit Song Tarot. And the star is card number 17, which one plus seven is eight. So we've got two eights here. So whatever abundance and prosperity you were trying to manifest, oh baby, if you don't have it today, it's right around the corner, okay? Right around the corner. Keep working on that. <clears throat> know that you are worthy of it. This star, this is all about like finding that peace inside yourself, okay? Um, it's, it's balance. Um, usually in other decks, it's shown by, um, it's represented by, somebody with a pitcher and they're pouring water onto the land and water into the sea. So it's all about abundance and, and balance. And you know, this is, 
what I'm feeling is whatever abundance is coming in for you, make sure you share. Okay, because when we share our abundance, it comes back to us. When we share our love, it comes back to us. Anytime we share things, it comes back to us. So it, think of a hug. When I give you a hug, you're giving me a hug back. And it's automatic. It's not even like anybody has to think about it. Okay, so this is like you're, you're getting a hug if you chose stack number one. But it's that inner peace inner healing and abundance and prosperity like everything is coming to you you just gotta you know know that you're worthy of it i always tell people you're worthy and you deserve it you have to know that though you have to feel it and believe it and have faith in it okay let's see what your oracle card says your oracle is from the sacred spirit deck and it's card number two ascended masters Create open communication. Can I set that right there? Yes. Card number two. Let's see what the book says about card number two. <clears throat> card number two says, um, Philosophers, ascended masters, spiritual gurus, and leaders enable those seeking wisdom or higher states of well-being and consciousness to connect to something bigger than themselves in this dimensional experience. While there are many ascended masters across the realm of ascension, they are still on differing levels of ascension. When working with these frequencies or energies, be sure to always invoke or request the aspects that exist within 100% pure light frequencies. Ascended masters still exist with a dual polarity and still have specific purposes and functions relating to the earthly realm. So I always tell people when you're using a pendulum or you're dowsing or you're meditating, be very specific on who you are having a conversation with. Um, a lot of times, because I run a metaphysical shop, people will come in and they, they pick up a pendulum and they just start, you know, it starts moving. Oh, look at this one's moving for me. And I say, who are you talking with? And they say, I don't know what you mean. Okay, well, let's have a conversation then because you don't just start talking to anybody. You want to be very specific. I choose to work with the beings that are living and working with 100% pure light. Um, okay, so right now you are required to connect to higher wisdom previously shared with a collective purpose. Daily rituals and routine are essential to establish stability through decision-making processes. Open your mind and vision to signs and symbols from the Ascended Master realm. One of the signs is if you get lots of threes. Three, three, three is Ascended Masters are watching over you. So when you see a lot of threes, um, that's what's going on there. Many Ascended Masters are associated with animals and symbols. Pay attention to art and imagery that you may feel emotionally or strongly connected to now as you are being guided divinely. Be consciously aware that the masters are working behind the scenes in your life to achieve a greater outcome. And this affects you, but it also affects everybody around you. Keep that in mind. Karmic planning and your unique energetic blueprint require certain learning experiences and events for you to grow and expand your soul and spirit into a new state of awareness. And the affirmation that goes with this card is, I am a clear channel of divine knowledge. I share this wisdom with compassion and confidence. How awesome is that? Heart chakra, abundance, prosperity, peace, and healing coming your way. You got it all, baby. If you chose stack number one, you got it all. All right, can we see that? There we go. So if you chose stack number two, let's see what's in the box. Your crystal is kunzite. This is a nice big piece of kunzite. It has a pale lavender color. It can be pinkish or lavenderish. 
It can even be a little pale green. Um, kunzite is very supportive for new or first time mothers, for single mothers, as well as animal mothers who are having a hard time caring for their young. It is a good stone for sleepless babies and overactive children. It is also a, a really good thing for girls entering puberty. So for sleepless babies, you do not put it in their crib. You can put it under the mattress in the crib, um, but in some way underneath where they cannot access it. Okay. We don't want to get anybody in trouble here. Um, it can be worn as a necklace that we have smaller pieces in this. You don't want to wear this as a necklace as a child, of course. Um, or carry it in your pocket. So um, this is also a really good stone. It's very, just holding it in my hand is very soothing and calming. Um, it's really good to relieve heartache um, from loss or separation. Um, you can carry it with you when you visit negative energy areas or low frequency energy areas. Or keep it in your work area if it's less than positive. Um, and it, it can also help you when you're driving. Um, and when you're meditating, you might want to, if you're lying down on your back, put this on your third eye or on your heart to have it work with you. Very calming and soothing. All right. Let's see what your cards have to say. The first card is from the Tarot of Dreams. Oh, and you have the Justice card justice. <clears throat> this is all about balance. We were talking about balance in stack number one. Look at the scales. They are balanced. Um, and this is a person that, I mean, yes, they're wearing armor and it's always good to protect yourself. Um, but they're confident and, and at peace. Like, Hey, I got this. You can just tell by the look on his or her face. I got this. Um, and I got balance. It can also mean that, you know, you're working on something <clears throat> um, within a justice system. Um, and this says justice is coming to you, to you and your family, whatever that means to you. This is a general reading, so I can't be very specific. But I feel like there's somebody out there that's watching that has some kind of a court case or, or something. Um, and justice is coming. But the thing that we want in, in court cases is we want justice for all. Okay. We don't want it just for me. We want it for all. And sometimes that justice puts us exactly where we need to be. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Your second card is from the spirit song tarot. This is cute little mouse. Eight of feathers. Eight. We had two eights in stack number one. Here's another eight. Eight is all about abundance and prosperity. Feathers. This is air. Um, in other decks, it can be swords. But in this case, it's not like <clears throat> negative. This is, <clears throat> excuse me. This is all about, um, I talk about the winds of change all the time, but this is like an abundance. This is, this is like answers coming to you. Okay. It's answers coming to you. Um, it's the knowing it's the clairvoyance. It's the knowing, um, people call it what they will. They call it their intuition. Um, well, I just know it's that mother's intuition, whatever you want to call it, but answers are coming to you. And you need to pay attention. The, the universe is bringing answers to you and they're bringing an abundance of answers because it's an eight. They're bringing you an abundance of answers. And this little mouse, he's all about the details. Okay. So lots of answers are going to be coming to you. You've got the justice card. Answers are coming to you. So whatever you've been waiting for, those answers are coming and they're going to, a lot of them are coming. Okay. You're going to get an abundance of answers and justice and you need to find that balance okay 
There needs to be balance in, in your life and, and I get and your family's life. So somebody out there who's watching this, um, in your in your family's life, there needs to be balance. That means kids, that means parents, that means your parents. Um, but there there needs to be balance. But you're gonna get a whole bunch of answers and they're gonna come quickly. Think about how fast that little mouse can scurry. My guides just said, and they're going to come quickly. So pay attention, but be balanced, okay? Don't let all the answers catch you off balance. <clears throat> oh, hello. Your um, third card is from the Sacred Spirit deck, and it is Eternal Union. Card number 15, which is a six, and six is all about love. New love is forming. I like how she has her hand on his heart. Look at the, the ripples coming out of there. The book says about card number 15, eternal union. Strengthen your relationships. In a lifetime, we are destined to meet many members of our soul group and soul family. Many of them enter through life as a soulmate, fated to teach us lessons about unconditional love and ourselves. A soulmate can be a friend, family member, work colleague, partner, neighbor, or someone you strongly disagree with, clashing with every time you are around each other. When a soulmate enters your life, they offer your soul support, guidance, and growth, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually. You may feel you have known them forever. Or you may be instantaneously comfortable in their presence. Depending upon what your soul needs, a soulmate may be a brief encounter or this relationship could last a lifetime. Acting as a catalyst for growth, these souls are here to teach you something new. Currently, meeting new people will bring great conversations. Interesting people will enter your life now to teach you something valuable about yourself and your interests or passions in life. Social gatherings and casual meetups will create opportunities for meaningful connections. Right now, you are being encouraged to actively listen to others. For those who you despise or see as enemies, view these people as possible soul connections. They are here to teach you life lessons and challenge your structured belief systems. This new understanding will deepen the love you have for others, including new and existing partnerships, opening doors for an expression of eternal union. This living expression of love will include romantic connections, including marriage with long-term commitments possible now. This card comes with this affirmation. I am a living and loving expression of the eternal union. I am blessed. And I firmly agree with what that was just talking about, that sometimes it's that person that just drives you crazy. You're like, oh my gosh, I just, that person over there, oh. you know what? You need to pay attention to that person because there's a reason that, they make you feel that way. So pay attention to everybody that comes into your life. They came into your life for a reason. That can also be pets as well, not just people. Because sometimes that pet comes into your life for a reason as well. All right, that was stack number two. Stack number three. If you chose stack number three, your crystal is peridot, and it's a pale green. Sometimes it can be a very bright green, like a spring green, not a not a Christmas green, but a spring green. And all I have is the, the small pieces right now. But it's highly beneficial for attuning to and regulating the cycles in your life. It can help dissipate negative patterns and old vibrations that play over and over and over, 
keeping you from realizing that you are deserving of success. Peridot is a stone of transformation and excellent to use for recovery. And that can be recovery from, you know, surgery or, you know, a sobriety, an addiction, whatever you need to, re <laughs> one of my guides said a relationship, whatever you need to recover from. Most important, this is a stone for the wounded healer, serving as a vital guide in facilitating healing processes that help others going through what you have already overcome. So for all you healers out there, you know, I always say the best healers have been wounded. And some have been wounded very badly. But how can we be compassionate and understand what you're going through if we haven't been through it ourselves? Right? So wounded healers. You can place this in your pillowcase to help you sleep better. Or place it over your heart to help empower forgiveness. Or alleviate jealousy or self-doubt caused by betrayal in past relationships. Place it over your solar plexus to relax and relieve tension, fear, guilt, anxiety, and impatience. This is an awesome crystal. All right, let's look at your cards if I can get them out. Your first card is from the Tarot of Dreams, and it is the Faith card. Faith. So this card, Major Arcana, card number five, this is all about you having faith in yourself, in your superpowers, in your abilities, in your skills. It's having faith in yourself. So... In the past, the old ways would be to, that we have to have faith in that figure in our church. We give them all the power. This was, in other decks, this is the Hierophant. And that's like the Pope figure, or the priest, or the pastor, or the minister, or the mayor. Whoever that, that head figure is that you give your power to. But today in this reading, my guides are saying, you need to have faith in yourself. Don't give your power away to somebody else that you don't even know. You may think you know them, but you don't. You need to have faith in yourself because you are the one with the power for you. Now, the symbols on the top here, this is Taurus. So Taurus is a very earthly, earthy um, zodiac sign. It's the bull. Um, big and powerful and earthy. And this is the Vav in Hebrew. And the Vav is the nail. And this is like, we got to nail this down. You have to have faith in yourself. Like they really want me to, to hammer it home. Ha ha ha. They're funny. Um, that... You have the power. The power is inside of you, okay? You need to believe that, feel that, think that, know that. You have the power. Stop giving your power away. You have the power. This is for the last however many thousands of years, they did not want us to know this, how powerful we are. Today, I'm telling you, you have the power and you are very powerful. So let's add a Spirit Song Tarot deck card to that. And it's the Nine of Shells, which is the Nine of Cups or the Nine of Water. This is like, almost like your dreams coming true. Um, it's, it's high emotional fulfillment. It's, I feel complete. We're almost at the Ten of Cups or Ten of Shells. Um, we're almost there. And, and when you reach that 10 of cups or 10 of shells 
position, you are there. But of course, we're still working on it. But this is have faith in yourself um, and feel fulfilled. Feel joyful about having that faith in yourself. You found your power and be joyful about it. And grateful. Be grateful to yourself. Very powerful cards today. <laughs> and then your last card is from the Sacred Spirit Oracle deck. And I'm laughing because, oh my gosh, look at this card. Ribbit, ribbit. He's so cute. <laughs> Shield your energy. Look beneath the surface. Card number 32. Three plus two is five. So this is a five right in the middle. Let's see what the book says about Card number 32, shield your energy. The frog is a diverse amphibian living all over the world. The frog thrives in clean habitats. Its life is a process of metamorphosis from egg to tadpole and then to adult frog. They're often seen as the ultimate rainmaker with the exotic and intrinsic sounds of their beautiful sacred song echoing through their native bushland. This creature cannot endure a toxic environment and requires unpolluted habitats to thrive. In order for you to succeed right now, you must clear and clean your surroundings. Closely connected to the moon cycles, the frog encourages you to release your emotions in a healthy way, washing away any negative physical or mental energies that restrict you from having a positive and peaceful life. Now, while I'm reading this, I'm remembering that this weekend is our full moon. So keep that in mind. Full moon, great time to release all that stuff that does not serve your highest and greatest good. Encouraging you to look deeper into a situation to find the truth of the matter. The frog will challenge you to release anything that is holding you back from success. You may be feeling swamped right now. Swimming through murky water, but just like the frog, you may need a long rest or to hibernate from others while you gather your senses and your fresh perspective. And that totally has to do with this having faith. Okay? If you need to back away from people, take some time for yourself, and that's what you need to do. So right now, the gentle energy of the frog is requesting you to look deep beneath the surface. Not everything is what it appears, especially these days. All the truths are coming up to the surface. Influence from toxic environments is suffocating your natural gifts and talents that need to be nurtured. You require a healthy, supportive, and loving environment for you to grow and thrive as an individual. So now is the time to take care of your health, releasing emotions, and examining your own energy and how it interacts with others. Use the element of water to unblock your energy fields and create a smooth flow of kundalini for personal healing and growth. Find your own sacred song. Oh, I love that. Find your own sacred song. Call to others who share your passions and interests where you can support and renew your inner fire. The affirmation that goes with this is, I sing the beautiful sacred song of my heart clear and loud for all to hear how beautiful is that sing your sacred song my beautiful soul family i'm gonna put those back in there we're gonna close that up and guess what you get some golden singing bell yay thank you for joining me everybody i love you and I send you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because you are worthy and you deserve them. I love you. Namaste.